and welcome to our weekly how-to video. My name is Lori McNorton, Floral Design Coordinator of Florist Review and Super Floral. And today I'm going to share with you a design which I was inspired again from the season, our fall season. And I'm not going to lie to you, I kind of saw this image, this picture, and I thought what a great, I, I thought it would be great to share with you. So um, it involves some birch branches and my son was out cutting some branches and I said do not throw those away. So I've cut them all, I've taken all different sizes and I cut them, oh I would say 12 to 15 inches. Um, just different, different sizes and we're going to use this um, as our base for our design today. So what I have done to get this going I have got just a clear plastic Lomi dish because we're really not going to see this. This is my intention. We're not going to see much of this. Um, I took a block of floral foam, trimmed it down a little bit to fit into my tray. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of waterproof tape just to secure it a tad. You know, the fun part about this is I get these ideas and I think I completely got it through my head and hope that it works out. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, so this is going to be my structure, my foam structure, and then I'm going to build around, build around it with my twigs. Um, I've got some bark wire. Heck, it's kind of heavy duty wire. So my larger pieces, I am going to just go around my foam. No set way, but I am going to use like a couple larger ones and I'm going to kind of push it in to the foam as we go. Really no right or wrong way. But as you'll see, I do have different sizes. So what I'm going to do, ha, ah, this is the tricky part. There we go. I'm just going to twist this around once at least. There. And then I'm going to continue adding. <laughs> And you may see, once we're done with this, you may see some of the foam, and that's okay. It's green, it's gonna blend in. Okay, whoops. Then I'm gonna take this around again and tie it off. I'm just twisting right there. Okay, then let's cut this off. I'm going to leave some length to it because I want to go around a few more times. Now I have my smaller ones and I'm going to go outside of the container on this because I want it to have some, I don't want it to be all inside the container. And again, I'm going to go around. There, woohoo! <laughs> I think we got it. And then I'm going to tie that off. <laughs> Ralph's having, I'm not sure what Ralph is doing. Checking our camera angles. I hope this is okay. Are we okay? Kind of? It was kind of hard. It is a little tricky to get me working that around there. So I'm going to take a little bit more bark wire I just for decoration I just want to well let's go this way so we can see it there we go All right, so that is our structure that we're going to use to design in. And like I said, you can still see some of the foam, and it's okay. 
We'll hide some of the tape, the green tape with the twigs. Just make sure that our mechanics are hidden that way. And I think we're doing good there. So now the fun part is adding some fresh. So um, I've got a little bit of, oh, the celosia. I've got alstroemeria. I love this. This is from my neighbor again. Insane pain. <laughs> cool name. So I'm just cutting some of this and I'm just going to tuck it in to the foam. Ooh, I'm going to have all kinds of seeds here. <laughs> so let me turn it this way. So maybe um, Ralph, maybe more like this. We'll kind of show because we can see the foam. So that's kind of what we're doing. We're not necessarily, I don't want it just to be up in the top of this arrangement. I want it to have some dimension. Um, okay, that's our, I had a whole bucket of celosia. I must have left it. Oh, okay, we'll go to Alstroemeria. Again, I'm just gonna add little pieces. And I'm going to insert it right into the sides of the sticks. There we go. Let's do one more of those. I'm going to put one here. Um, I have a little bit of the green hydrangea. Let's just tuck a piece, couple pieces of that in. And I soaked my foam really well. Um, and that's why I have the tray on the bottom because we could still, on this, add water and it'll, we'll have a water source for this. I'm going to stick one piece down in the top here. This one's hard to make towards your direction because I really have to see where I'm inserting instead of just kind of guessing. <laughs> Okay, we've got these beautiful novelty sunflowers. I thought this would be perfect. Add a few of those. These are from my new friend also. I went down last night to just get some pumpkins for my porch and these sunflowers were out in the fields and I thought, oh, these are too pretty not to use. Look at this chocolate one. Okay, again, I'm gonna start inserting kind of in the top. Let's do one more there. Look at that one, wow. And I know we're from the Midwest here, but that's not the only reason we love sunflowers. These are a different kind and so cool just to see all the different varieties. Okay. I have a couple pincushion protea. Those came from Bloom Connect call out there. Oh, this is turning out so cool. Okay, let's see. Wow. Do we need anything else? That's the thing. 
Oh, maybe one more sunflower. Let's go out this way. There we go. I've got celosia seeds everywhere. <laughs> leaf off. I want to be able to see the stems coming back up through the center of the bouquet. That looks pretty cool. You know, sometimes you just hope it works out, and I think this did. So let's, um, let me display it a little bit. Oh, you know what? One more thing, just for a different texture. <laughs> we were cutting the pine also. And I thought, you know, pine doesn't have to be just for fall. So I just want to stick a piece because it's really airy and light. And I thought this would be perfect. Just a couple pieces. Again, it's just another one of those textures. And all I'm doing is working it in between those branches and putting it into the floral foam. All right, now let's display it. So I have this really cool wooden disc bowl. So I'm just gonna pick that up. Have that. Then as I was trimming all these branches, I kept all the little nubs. I'm just going to fill in the bottom here. And then I had some of these, I don't know, they're shell discs. I, we've had them in the studio. Um, but I thought, oh, how cool is that? Because I was thinking I could lay a few around and even add some into the side, just right into the foam. And again, it just kind of has some reflection and some light. We can even add some up into the design itself. Get it in between a branch here. I think we've done it. There we go. All right, thank you for joining us here today. Be sure to check our website. Go to floristreview.com. Um, we have a, a newsletter. And be sure to subscribe to the magazine. It has the most up-to-date designs, shows your techniques, um, trends, it's a wealth of information that if you love floral designing, you'll love the magazine. So be sure to get that monthly. So thank you for joining us and I will see you next week. Have a great day.